morning. It is day eight, build day. Isaac's already been out here for a second, getting stuff together. So let's go check out what he's done so far. So he has been in the bus working and let's look at this. Um, it looks like he's he took this part out and he is building this out for this really awesome little burner here. So he's just framing that out for that. And then we're also talking about instead of doing the pull out trash can here, which some of you said, and I haven't talked to Isaac about this yet. They were saying, would anyone want to, like, I wouldn't want to sleep next to the trash can. Fair point. Um, but we are talking about not putting the trash can here at all and doing drawers here. We were going to put two drawers over the refrigerator, but it just is not working out. It's just not working out. So we're going to do the burner and then what, maybe a drawer next to it. Yeah. And then drawer. this may possibly become drawers as well. And then today's goal is to just finish framing at least. And then whatever else we can get done after that, as far as drawers go. Yeah. We're, we're going to try and get this whole section done, but if we could just get it framed out, sink in, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Countertop on. Then we'll be on schedule, which I definitely think is doable. Um, it may seem like not, it may not seem like a lot, but even just that is getting us on schedule. I feel like I, we, I kind of really slowed us down yesterday with that, <laughs> with that one, because I messed up and then you messed up and then it was the whole thing. So it was built three times, which I think That's is right. a tradition and Isaac's and all of Isaac's build is to build one thing at least three times. Yeah, so I've built this whole bus three times. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and get started and I have a lot of energy today. Isaac and I both worked out today and I think we're going to kill it. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, so I brought in a few supplies. We got the hand sander, measuring tape, pin, and triangle square thing. Um, basically what has happened, Isaac took this part down and why he did that is because he measured out, he put this upside down, measured this out. But the thing is, these come out a hair right here. This comes out a little bit. So he re-measured it to give that a little bit of space, a little more clearance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this line here. I'm going to sand it down, sand that off, and then create a new line. So instead of 10 and a half, we're going to do 10 and three quarters. Yeah, I might have to use this. Yep. Okay. No wood glue? No wood glue on this side? Uh, no wood glue. A little inset deal's gonna work. That looks pretty good. So Isaac and I just got back from lunch. He talked me, I was gonna have Progresso soup and he talked me into barbecue. So. Barbecue's um, not bad for you, it's meat. I had the nachos and it was really, really good. So I kind of don't regret my decision. But like I said, we worked out today, so mm -hmm. it wasn't that bad. Anyways, 
Um, before that though, I missed a little bit of building because my mom called and I don't typically get to talk to her all the time. So I tend to try and make time when she calls. So Isaac <coughs> put this in and then he redid that and built it up a little bit to leave room for the countertops. And so that's kind of where we're at. Maybe something like that. Mm -hmm. This is three quarter countertops an inch, but you know. Okay. Cool. So we're gonna keep on going, and uh. I love that burner. I think we're gonna get the countertop in today. I really do. So I'm excited to see the countertop in there with the burner in there in the sink. We were just talking about how cool we think this burner is. I absolutely love the stove in Vin Diesel, and this is the same uh, company, but it's uh, um, just the burners. So it saves counter space and it's so slick. I think it looks really cool. Oh yeah, it's also by Rec Pro. And I have a discount code that I can give you to put in your thing if you want. Or they could just go check it out on your channel. I haven't put it out yet. Oh. <laughs> Don't you have it in Vin Diesel video? I think I forgot to put it in there. Well, we'll see if it makes it into this video. <laughs> okay, so what's next? Um, this. So we need to cut this. So basically, these were just, you know, this size, right? Um, but this one's going to go... All the way up? All the way up. So, um, we need to cut this wall and then get this shape, and that's going to be you know kind of a mission and then we'll cut uh the the sections between so that's kind of where we're at right now cool let's, let's get at it let's get at it so he already cut the piece we just got to get the shape um this is something that i was never looking forward to in my build is trying to get that shape if i was going to do a closet my solution to that was literally build it up to the point where the roof curves and just stop there and let the top be flat <laughs> because for me i have cats and they would love to sit on top of that but i am curious to see how isaac's gonna do this could you use your template for this yeah where's that at hey all them stupid little things they try and sell you on amazon that find your curve they don't work I have one of those little orange things and it don't work for me, but maybe that's a user error. So let's think about this. So this is gonna, I want this side. Maybe the inside? On the inside of the cabinet, right? So that means this curve. Oh man. Hmm. Okay, so far so good. Oh yeah, it's already. The top is too high on this end. Yeah, won't even squeeze in, so. So the template Isaac used for the upper cabinets and for this part right here, that's what he's using as the template to get the cut right. And right now he's working on the curvature on top and just kind of shaving it down slowly until it's it fits just right. So that's what he's working on now. The goal is to get the shelf to sit basically up against this right here and then this right here and it kind of sits like that and then so it'll basically just sit in there really nicely. Wow, I think he got it. And so we'll sand the top down, make it look real nice. And then that wall for the closet is done. Yeah, 20 
22 by two and a half, and then 22 by eight and three fourths. Leaving all my worries, I prepare for something new. Whatever it was that held me back, I'm sure it wasn't true. Holding on too long and on these old questions hold you down. What could have been a friendly smile has turned into a frown. I'm moving on. Exciting. We got the wall up, we got the braces on there. Now you said we need a lip for that. And then we're super close to putting the countertop on there. Putting the countertop and insetting the burner and the sink is probably what I'm most excited for. So I can't wait to see what that's gonna look like. But so far, I think it looks really good. I'm excited. Yeah? Yeah, are you excited? A little bit. So after discussing, we think that once it's like actually screwed in, it's not gonna really need a lip. So now that's out of the way. We're gonna start on the little section for the foot pump. Sweet is my location, sweet as well my disorders. If you're looking to begin, then look no further than within. I'm satisfied. Thirty-two with and three quarters. And still eager for more. Actually, thirty-two. The five eighths. Will come up on your door. On and on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just one piece instead of two. Yeah. 35 inches tall. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Um, eight inches for kick plate. And then two and a half for uh,
Isaac's taken this piece off, so he built one whole piece to stick there instead. Let's see how we did. Yeah, I think it does look a lot cleaner like that. Yeah, bro. Cool. Now we're going to sand it, get it ready to install, and then we'll put it in. the sink there's just enough room for a trash can and the tanks and then there's the water pump and then this will be the door boom we won't use this exact trash can but we'll get one the same size since that one's the one that comes with the actual uh whatever this is called like you may not even really have to cut any off you didn't want to yeah you think yeah You can lift it however much you want. It's gonna look really nice. So of course this has plastic on it. And I just wanna rip it off. And see what it looks like. I think this side's the top, actually. really nice wow it's really coming together huh yeah stoked 
And see, that's one thing I love about this burner is you don't lose any counter space. So I was very excited and I thought we were gonna get it mounted and everything today, but um, we do have to break the edges of the countertop and then we're gonna um, treat it with oil, right? Yeah. And then after that, we'll let that set and then tomorrow we'll mount everything. So I think we got pretty far. We pretty much got yeah. our goal today. We, we yeah. made it and did what we had in mind to accomplish. So I'm excited to see what it looks like once it has oil on there because I feel like that always makes it look a little bit better. While I'm sanding this, Isaac's taking that piece that we cut out for the sink, and he's taking the cutting board that came with the sink, and he's actually gonna cut out that size in this thing uh, so that it matches and it flows, which I think is a great idea. So we got one coat on and I don't know if we'll put more on or not, but we're gonna let this sit overnight and let it really soak in. I kind of went somewhat heavy, but not too heavy on it. And tomorrow, if it looks good, we're just gonna keep the one coat. If we really feel like it, we'll put another one on. Um, but we're gonna install this tomorrow, which I'm really excited about. So I hope that you guys enjoyed our workday eight. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to follow along this 30 day build, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And also, if you don't already know, this is not my bus. This is my partner's bus and he will be selling it once it is done. And I do have a bus 
and I will be finishing mine out once this is completed. We're gonna take a trip in it, and once we get back, I will be starting on my build, and I might just finish it in 30 days as well. So stay tuned for that, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.